Hi all, so this is just a basic quick witch silhouette that you can stick on your windows, on your walls, hang from the ceiling, anything you like really, just great for decorating the house at Halloween um, with the kids getting involved because it's just really quick and simple. So you need obviously is a pair of scissors, a pen to draw, as we're drawing on black, try to go as bright as you can so you can see it. Um, silhouette and some black card. Okay, so the silhouette, this you will find on my blog, which I will link below, where you can download um, the picture or save the picture. Um, and then just print it out. So this is just basic April printer paper, um, and it's printed out my silhouette. This is hand drawn by me, so you know, it's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. This doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it's just a bit of fun. So you need to cut this out first. Um, and you don't have to be too careful about it, you can still see there's some white around the edges on mine, it doesn't matter. The point is to get the rough shape, so once you've cut it out, again you can see it's just the basic print paper, you're going to want to draw onto your card. Now I've done this so that you pretty much only get two witches per card. It's A4 basic black card. It's a little close for the two witches, but you can get to if you're really careful. So you just want to line it up down at the bottom as close as you can and go across to one edge as far as you can. So go so that's on there. Look. And just you're just going to trace around it. Really simple. Just trace around. I know it's probably a little hard to see black on black, but hopefully the different textures are showing up just fine. But you don't have to be careful, you're just going to quickly draw around, because this is just a bit of fun. It's no, it doesn't need to be perfect, so don't stress over it. Um, if your kids are stressing, just explain to them this is a bit of fun. It doesn't have to be perfect, there are no mistakes, it's just exactly how you want it to look. But we're just going to draw all the way around. And these, you can make many of these and just dot them up all around the house, which is what I do. Um, I will insert pictures at the end showing you these in use to give you some ideas. But they're just really simple and if you pair them with the bat silhouette that I done yesterday, um, they can really make the walls look really fabulous. If I get round to buying some orange card, I'll do a pumpkin one for you guys, but I haven't got any orange card at the moment, so I can only do silhouettes. Yep. Let's see, it's just drawing around really quickly, so it helps if you don't knock it, <laughs> but it's just drawing around, doesn't have to be perfect. If you're not too keen on cutting out faces, just do a rounded ball around it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I have no idea where I started so I'm just going to keep drawing until I get to where I think I started, which I do. It's, it's really handy if you remember where you started. I never do. Okay, there we go. So I did get it all. So here's the first bit. Hopefully you can see that right down. And then you just want to gently ease this one in. And you have to put this one at an angle to fit. But it does just fit, as you can see. It just kind of slots around where the other one is so you can get two from the card. I'm always one for getting as much as you can from a piece of paper or card instead of just going in the middle of something. Squish around, try to make sure it all fits on so you can get as much fun out of card and thing as cheap as possible. Because it's no fun if you end up having to spend a small fortune on card because you've only got one on each card and wasted a load of paper. So this way around, you hopefully don't waste too much. And the, even the small pieces that are left could be used for other class, like kind of mosaic for the kids. So it's all really nice and simple. Doesn't matter if you miss a part when you're drawing, you can usually roughly get it back in, but try to get every part if you can. You see, it's just simply drawing around. 
if you draw slightly wrong it doesn't matter you can adjust things as you cut this as well so just enjoy tracing around which nice and calm let's see whether I get to a bit more I think I may have missed a bit here should we have a look yep just there but you know I can hand all that in it doesn't matter there we go so there you have two witches drawn on the card it's not um, too hard, you know, it fits them in, it's all good. So then you want to do is cut them out. I always like to work with one at a time, so I just roughly go in and separate the two because it's just easier to worry about cutting. Sorry, I'm going off camera, and it's just easier to cut one at a time. So it doesn't have to be perfect, just roughly cut it out of the way. As I said, none of this has to be perfect, you'll just given a sort of shape that mimics the witch so fabric always flows differently depending on how you're using it so it doesn't matter if your fabric curves are different than my fabric curves none of my witches I've cut out are identical they're all ever so slightly different and that's what part of the fun is is seeing how many different ones you can end up with Actually, it's just a really simple basic cut. I'm really sorry if I'm off camera. I mean, you don't really need to see me cutting. You get how to cut, don't you? But I know some people struggle with the detail part, so I thought I can at least just show you how I manoeuvre the card up and down and around to get the angles you need for these. It's just a matter of slowly moving the card in the angle you need as you cut. So it's pretty simple. It doesn't matter if you squash down your nose or something while you're cutting and bending around because you can just simply pop it back up at the end. top bit I'm cutting here is the hair so that can be anything it doesn't really matter what shape you end up with because it's hair blowing in the background so nobody's really going to care are they The noise is annoying you. I actually like the sound of cutting, so I could sit here and listen to someone cut for ages. And if you do, I'm sorry I talked over and annoyed you. Sometimes you just cut from a different angle makes it easier to get to that point as well so just work with however it's easiest for you to get to it simple. Sometimes you might need to go back and do a little tidy up if you decide it needs just that little bit more. It's so much easier when you have paper not getting stuck on your hand. Yeah, just trimming that up a little. Again, this part of the broom doesn't really matter what shape you come up with, it's just a broom. 
So if yours is a little more wavy or a little more pointed, it's okay. I'm actually going to show you two ways I leave these broom in the hair um, at the end of this. Just so you get an idea of what you can do with it. Again, come in at a different angle if it's easier. And I know you all know how to cut, but I know that some people struggle with cutting out shapes, no matter what your age. So, we move all that out of the way. And there is your simple witch silhouette. Now, you can see on this one, which is the same thing, I've just left it like that and they can look quite cool. But another way is to actually do this to them. It just gives them a little more look of what these are, like the broom and the hair. And all for that, all I simply did was make some random slits. So you just kind of go up, making some random slits all the way through. It doesn't have to be measured or perfect, just create some slits and then we can go back through and do some tidying up to them after. And don't do them all the same length, do them all differently. Get a couple just up the side to give the messiness. And then what you want to do is just ever so slightly, go slightly on the edge of each part. See if I can go in. So all I'm doing is picking one and either thinning it down if it's too thick or going in and just taking a little section off. See, so it's giving the look that you want of just random strands of broom. You just have to gently go. Be careful not to accidentally cut through an entire strip and cut off a big lump. I mean, it won't matter if you do, but it's nice, I think, if you have just some extra bits sticking out there. See, so that just makes a little bit of fun. And you do the same with the hair. So just Make some random cuts up. Try to change your angle. You can do some wiggly shapes if you want. So just wiggle around. Again, do some big ones, some small ones, it doesn't matter. Cut through, wiggling around. And get, so you got the hair. And again, do the same thing, just take a little bit off a couple of bits. And what that does is creates the gap when you lay it back down. If you're not sure, you're going to, when you lay it back down, obviously it's going to smooth the same place that it was. So if you create some little gaps, it just helps with the effect. And there's no right or wrong way to do this, you just do as you fancy. And there you have your little more fun ones. <laughs> Zoom back out so you can actually see them, shall we? See, so you can have them this way, where it's just thing, or just keep them flat <laughs> and have it just that silhouette. See, so this is a good choice, and you can pick which one you want. I like this one because I think it just gives an extra effect, but this looks perfectly fine as well, so it's entirely up to you which way around you want to do that. So, if you want to hang them, just simply put a hole in the hood here, and you can hang them. And you could hang a whole bunch of them on a string around like that, or just hang them from the ceiling. Or just put some tape or blue tack link like, along the back here, and stick them to your walls, which is what I'll be doing. So, I hope you enjoy them. I will pop some images in here in a second that will show you what I've done with my ones and give you some ideas and how well they can look on the walls and your ceilings. Okay, so thanks for watching. Check back soon for more tutorials or craft ideas and you'll take care and have a fabulous Halloween. Bye!